In today's video, we're gonna be doing the biggest craft art project I have ever done in my life. I know it's not as grand as some other people out there, but this one really is a lot for me. And I'm gonna be diving into some interesting stuff, some craft projects. In this, I'm gonna be taking a birdhouse that I think is made of balsa wood, and I'm going to convert this into a haunted house for Halloween. This is one of those simple houses you can find at the craft store. I think it costs like maybe 10, 20 bucks or something like that. I don't know, I might be exaggerating on the 20 bucks. I don't, I don't even remember because I bought it a while ago. I bought it six months ago. So it costs some amount of money and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this into a haunted house. And I'm really excited for this project. I've been waiting and I've been thinking about this for a long time. I've had this house sitting on my shelf over there for a very long time and I'm really excited to get into this. So without further ado, before we get into the video, I just wanna remind you, if you're having a good time and you enjoy what you see here, to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and do all that stuff and whatever, whatever, let's just do it. All right, so we got the house here at the foundation and I'm going to start off with the glaring issue that I've been looking forward to dealing with this entire talk. Oh, that ripped a bigger hole than I thought. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy crap! Well, guess we'll just get started and we're gonna have to live with that. I didn't think that was gonna happen.
I'm extremely happy with this. This was a product that I didn't know what I was doing when I got into this. So when I started this project, I, I bought the birdhouse thing from Michael's craft store uh, seven months ago or something like that, six, seven months ago. And I, I've, I've been sitting on this project for a long time because I knew I wanted to do this and I am very happy. I went into this having absolutely no idea what I was doing. There was a lot of stuff that I just, I said, the hell with it. I'll just experiment and we'll see where it goes. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like a lot of the stuff, because of the nature of this project, I think it was really good. There's a lot of accidents that happened during the project and I don't think they're bad. And it's kind of like a happy accident with this entire project where there's nothing I can actually do all that wrong because I'm making a haunted house. I'm making things that are busted down. I'm tearing things apart. I'm damaging stuff at points in this video. I just took the knife and I started stabbing the roof of the house. And there's not much you can really do wrong with that because the more damage you do, the better it comes out. I really went into this not knowing where it would end up. And I'm very happy. I had some ideas like the... Uh, wheelbarrow in the back of the house that was really cool I like that because I had that idea and I just looked around at some of the stuff I've accumulated and uh, the little craft materials and like the the mineral rocks I had that I just happened to have that I didn't buy that for this project but it, it worked out really well so I ended up uh, combining that with the wheelbarrow that I got from the craft store and just gluing it in there and kind of just tapering it out. And then there's a bunch of other stuff here that really came together. I would say another thing that came together really well is the fence line. The fence line, I didn't even know that I was gonna do that until maybe the day before. I, I recorded this in a couple sessions and it took me maybe three days to put this together. And then I didn't even think about the fence line until the third day. And in the third day, I was like, oh, I have all these uh, popsicle stick. I have all these popsicle stick things, and then I could split them up, paint them, soak them in some water, get them some dirty texture, and then I could just stick them in the foundation. And it worked really well because with the foundation, I, it is like this very foamy thing where you could work with it, it's very malleable. And so I would just stick these fence posts in the foundation and it worked really well. And then as a byproduct of that, when I was doing this and I was using a lot of hot glue, it created a lot of these kind of spider web type things that I think work really well. And I decided to just lean into that and just let it happen. And when I was gluing all this stuff and putting it together, all these stringy, after products of the hot glue just kind of flowed across the canvas here and I, I really like the way it turned out. I did a lot of experimentation with the rocks and the pebbles and stuff that I got from the store again. Um, I don't know if every craft store like Michael's or uh, Joanne Fabrics or whatever, maybe, maybe they all carry that kind of stuff, but I, I got these products mostly from just Michael's. And I got these rock things where it comes with a lot of pebbles and a bunch of bigger rocks. And I just mix them in with some glue and water. And I don't know what the heck I'm doing because I just kind of decided to do this. And I was like, I need to get these rocks and these pebbles to stick on the foundation. So I just randomly decided to do that and mix the glue with the, the water. And I, I was hoping that if I do that, and also the grass as well. The grass, that's another story. But I mixed these all together and then I threw it down on the foundation uh, through the gluey water mixture and then I put it in front of a fan and I hope that, I hope that it would come together and it actually worked out really, really well. This project definitely felt like it took a lot of time but also I'm very happy with how it came out. I'm happy with the foliage and the dirt and the mud and the paint and everything that went into this. I, I think I kind of stumbled into this project and somehow I am very happy with this, which is very unusual. I don't normally like the stuff that I create, 
but I'm very happy with this entire project. I don't know what else to say about it, honestly. I look at it and there's a lot of happy accidents here. There, there's a lot of happy coincidental accidents and there's like webs that come from the hot glue. There's things that I broke off from the house that I didn't mean to break off. There are things that I didn't know how they were gonna work out. I just tried to mix things together and see what would happen. And I laid it all down and the results were not exactly what I expected, but I definitely learned a lot from this. But when I look at this, this project, this haunted house, I am actually very happy with this and I had a lot of fun doing it. And I think that's, that's what's actually important is that when you make something, you have fun doing it, you experiment, you learn, whatever. I don't know. What's the moral of the story? I had fun and I hope you had fun too. So if you also had fun and you enjoyed what you experienced here, what you saw here, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep doing... I've been holding this upside down. Let me know what you think and all that stuff, the like and the comment and the subscribe and all that stuff. And just let me know what you think. I'm going to keep doing art videos and all that stuff. And 